Ashe Collective and welcome to Nisha Star Tarot. So we are now at our fire sign. So this will be the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I said it correctly this time. <laughs> it was a struggle on all the other readings because I swear they were all just like mingling around in each other's energies. Us fire signs, we like, nah, fuck that. We burning too bright over here. It's too warm over here. Back up a little bit, you know? The heat's on high. <laughs> Whatever that means. It may be cold where you are. So like you have the temperatures turned all the way up. Um, I'm not taking all these cards, but it's very interesting that we're starting out with the tower. So something highly, highly unexpected has occurred. First card out we have, ooh, sun. Eight of cups, walking away from your emperor. Damn, or walking towards them. I mean, this is however you wanna look at it, but I feel like these cups, some of them are poured out. I'm getting all da, da. I'm trying to remember that I finally found you. Is that boys to men? No. Uh, Casey and Jojo. All my life I prayed for someone like you. And I hope that you feel the same way too. Go listen to that song. I don't know what that has to do with anything. So, okay. That kind of changes things. Is it a love and hate situation going on here? Fire signs? Because, like, I feel like there's anger here. But then at the same time, like, you pour your heart out to this person. Like, you're so in love. There's, like, a real strong masculine. And, and like, when they're in their energy, the attraction to this is just, like, all my life I've waited for someone like you. Um... So this would be like a father figure, someone that's a husband, stand-up guy. Like, he's a boss, a leader. He takes care of not just himself, but everyone around him. Um, there is something to be said about emotions being poured out. And I feel like you had to walk away. Somebody put it all on the table. Somebody put it all on the table. And I don't know if the energy, it's shock. A shock is here. So I don't know if this is like a proposal on the way or the energy of just like being, it's almost like if you give somebody the alter, an ultimate, I can't say it, an ultimate, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to get at though, if you, an ultimatum, um, and they walk away. <laughs> oh my God. That's just the worst. <laughs> They're like, all right, well, it, this was fun while it lasted. Peace. Like, you you know what you write. We ain't got to do this. <laughs> hey, fire sign. So apparently the tea got too hot and uh, the phone turned off. I told you something's overheating. Something boiled over. Literally. Um, it could have been emotions. It could have been the situation. You just over it. Um <laughs> And that's interesting because this is Aries energy. So I get a lot of Mars from this as well. Um, but to go along with what was uh, already discussed, somebody here is either walking away towards fulfillment and another towards like alignment with their own masculine energy and becoming a real provider, becoming more stable, more grounded. Um, this could either be what somebody's about to present to you or what you're about to present to yourself. You take that as it resonates. Um, but let's keep going. And I'm going to have to paste the videos together. But yeah, we overheated in here. Um, <laughs> and I was getting a kick out of that shit. Sorry. But anyway, um, something is hidden here. Messages, moon. I feel like things being done at night um, in secret. I felt a lot of sex, third party cheating, uh, possibly. I'm not putting that in everybody's situation. So if it don't apply, don't let it. But I feel like there is something going on to, unbeknownst to you. And the messages, maybe you look through somebody's phone and saw that they've been still in contact with someone they said they weren't going to be. Or there's a message that comes through email that you see somebody is where they like they're going out at night or I even just got a hotel like they booked a hotel like 
some sort something that um so divine feminine energy as well so for the divine masculine to be doing like it's almost like a switch up like the energy changes at night so it's almost like um or it could be somebody's parental roles too like he becomes a nurturer or like if you have to go back to working or working at night um somebody else is taking care of the kids at night something like that but i feel like it, it's um an expectation of a role that like somebody's keeping secrets about like what they're really doing it's interesting but the message is going to come out like it's almost like a, a argument like it's going to come out through a passionate discussion um it's going to create an argument i don't know i should and i hope not but yeah that's it's either going to bring you closer together or reveal that there's been others involved from the beginning honestly um three of cups here or this could be a celebration like um maybe somebody's hiding like a surprise from you because and we did have the tower right but this could be like a shock like an engagement you know something like it's like it's so this feels like a seesaw like it's so wishy-washy you don't really know how the energy is gonna all come together is, is what i'm getting wow something shocking i don't feel like i don't see this working out i don't see how this could work out but like the tower is here it's gonna be unexpected it's almost like I'm going to start piecing some shit together here. <laughs> we had 11 cups. I keep saying divine uh, feminine and divine masculine. We have the emperor here. With the moon. Right? So somebody's working, I feel like, really hard at night. I don't know if that leaves somebody else alone at night or like somebody's role changes during the night or even a mood, the mood changes at night. Something around, somebody's not comfortable with like what you're doing at night or what is being done at night. And it may be like flip that how it applies, but somebody I get, it's almost like somebody says they're working, but they're really out doing something else. And when you find out what's really going on, you go within. And then your divine masculine and feminine come into alignment. Because the one-one energy, this is like self. It breaks, all the ones break down to, um, but the two cups actually, one-one is eleven. Or eleven is one-one, so two. You still love them. There's still a lot of love here, but I feel like that love needs to be recollected. You need to collect all this back into self because even for the two cups to be poured out, there's still love here. There's still love for self. And maybe that's the only thing you need to focus your love on right now. Um, maybe things aren't what you think they are though, because that's the whole point of the moon. It's an illusion. Like. I feel like there is a lot of love in this situation, but like somebody's not. Wow. I said go back to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> this is what I saw and this is what I'm feeling. Somebody's toxic as hell. Somebody's lying, first of all. They're lying to you. This is so shocking because I feel like you're, while you're expecting one thing, like let's say you were expecting to marry this person or you're expecting a proposal or something of that nature. It's like <laughs> you're getting an ending to a situation. And then they come with the apology. Um, I feel like the attachment whatever you're attaching yourself to this doesn't have to be a like love situation i keep applying it to that because this could be work though it's like i feel like okay if we were taking it to work people are having meetings like constantly talking around you behind you like if you're not there if you're not present there's like um almost like you take the role of the leader so when the boss isn't there 
there's all these things going people are going after their own wishes their own fulfillment they're maybe doing like irresponsible shit i would say when the boss isn't there or when the leader isn't there when they don't have to be accountable they don't feel like they have to be accountable for something until like it gets br until people find out and then when they see people for who they really are but they're still coming with like that cup like but i love you or but you know i'm loyal to the company or whatever the case may be um or we're family like i i it's this is interesting energy and i feel like there's more than one aspect to it so again take this as it applies but it's the energy of when somebody's not around do people still see you in the same light i feel like with the king of pentacles here somebody seems like they see your stability they see your ability like your capableness your ability to make and create for yourself but i almost feel like when you start to do that and you become passionate about it or really happy or really fulfilled within yourself it creates like insecurities in others and that's really fucked up but that's the energy here and it's almost shocking how like people want you to be it's like people only want you to be as happy as they are that's the energy i'm getting like you're not allowed to be better be more do more want more because people will bring down towers on you they'll make it about themselves and then they'll come with the apology afterwards to tell you that they didn't realize what they were doing whole time they knew <laughs> king of swords that's air sign energy okay i'm gonna leave this there um but something about working together or cooperation would go a long way if this has to do with the work situation i would still try to find a way to cooperate with everyone and make sure all voices are being heard um because i feel like there will be a shocking turn of events here and as long as your cups are still full and you're stable and grounded and in alignment with yourself like all this other energy can just whirl around you and i'm not going to say you're not a part of it because again to be a part of a team you still have to have your input and um do your work or be mindful of um others around you and, and you know contribute so that could be that three of uh pentacles too is equal contributions from all parties and until it's equal i would be mindful especially if you are that emperor i almost feel like there's there i don't want to say it like people are plotting against you but there's there's chatter so it's like it it's great that they see you as that emperor so their fact that they're chattering about you being an emperor i mean me being a leo i gotta bring that up it's that's great in itself like thank you for seeing me in that light like you know what i mean like <laughs> i just had to take a moment but but at the same time it's like you can still have that chatter turn so quickly or like I almost feel like it's weird having people talk about you when you're not in the room or like about you and they're not it's not help like it's not helpful information I'm sorry I'm going off on this but the tangent but it's just if it's not contributing to the overall cause or making people better or spreading love or patience or understanding then like what are we doing I feel like there's gossip circles or something where it's like when the dude, like when a boss or when the guy is around or isn't around or take this as it applies, it could be a feminine energy too. But just when someone is not around, someone's acting differently. And this could be during the daytime or at night, but I just get a lot of like nighttime activity. So i'll just leave it there and again ashe thank you for joining me here at nisha star tarot and be kind to yourselves and each other